They tell me that Jaguars are cars for old men. They probably were, but I tell you what, things are changing and they're changing big time. Just feast your eyes on this. Unbelievable. Just no, out of this world really. It's absolutely fantastic. It just shows what British manufacturing can do. Oh, I would love to be seen in an car. It's a beautiful car. Oh, if I ever had the money, I'd definitely buy one. This is an incentive to get a good job. It's a very young man's car, boisterous car this is. It doesn't look like an old man's car at all. The interior of the CXF will be slightly different to the production model. It's very futuristic, it's very much a concept show car. But what it does show is that Jaguar are going to be daring on the inside as well as they have been on the outside. What I like about this car is it looks totally different to any of the German rivals. It's got an individuality all of its own. Inside this car makes one big message, a statement. It says modern. It's individual, it's dramatic, it's very different. I absolutely love it. Right, I've driven the car. I can tell you it's great. But what I think is even more important is how sensational it looks. This car is absolutely awesome. Whether you look at it front on, sideways, rear, it doesn't make any difference. This car is drop dead beautiful. If you think the car's got shades of Aston Martin, you'd be right, especially at the rear. But there again, the chief designer of Jaguar is Ian Callum, whose previous credits include the Aston Martin DB7. So what's happened in the motor car world is that uh, cars have taken on much stronger personalities. They're not timid anymore. They've got a lot to compete with out there in terms of their presence. And so the visual geography, the visual aspect of, of a Jaguar, although it has to be beautiful, it can't be too timid any longer. It has to be much stronger in the face of the car. So that's what we're doing with CXF, is that it has a much stronger front end than you might normally have expected from a Jaguar. It has presence. And then the natural proportion of the rest of the car has that presence as well. And that, that's something else. But it's important the front end has this very strong visual dynamic. I think the end result is absolutely the statement we want to make. Yes, um, it has the dynamism. Um, it has the, the, the spontaneity. It has the discipline and it has the purity of what a Jaguar is about. So is this the car that can save Jaguar? I really think it is. It's the best looking car I've seen since the E-Type. If they price this at under £30,000, this can beat the German rival.